you might need to resize artwork for a number of reasons. For example, you want to reuse artwork for a range of different stationary products, or you've realised that your artwork is the wrong size. If you want to make sure you're working at the right size, you can always visit our templates page and check. Just visit printed.com and click templates. The products are on the right, and the dimensions are listed underneath each template listing. Once you know your dimensions, you can resize your document in Illustrator by going to File, Document Setup. In this window, change the units to millimetres, then click Edit Artboards and change the dimensions of the artboard at the top. At this point it would be a good idea to add bleed. To see how to do that, click this link or wait till the end of the video. After resizing, you might find that elements of your document are out of place. If you have images in the document, making them larger or up them will degrade the quality, so you'll need to drop the original image back in. We recommend preparing images in Photoshop and importing them into Illustrator, as Illustrator doesn't handle non-vector images very well. If you drag your edited image file into Illustrator and place it where you want it, any future updates to the file should automatically show up in Illustrator. Vector shapes will scale without any loss of quality, so you can just resize them to fit your new document size. Once all the elements of your document are in place, you can export your artwork as a PDF for upload at printed.com. Make sure you view your PDF at 100% and cast your eyes over the whole document to check. Oh, and don't forget to add bleed. As promised, here's a video showing you how to add bleed in Illustrator. Thanks for watching. We hope you found this tutorial useful.